Hello, my name is Matthew Isbell, also known as the Bama Beach Bum. Gulf Shores and Orange Beach Tourism and myself are going to go over five items you need to get started beach fishing here in the Gulf Shores and Orange Beach, Alabama area. We're here at J&M Tackle, which if you're in the area, you've got to check out J&M. It's a great store. You can get lost and spend a lot of time and a lot of money in here because they got a lot of really cool stuff. But today we're just focusing on that beach gear. We're going to go in and check out a few items, so you follow me and let's go check it out. The first stop you're going to want to make is a rod and reel combo. This is what you're going to need to fish on the beach. And they've got a large selection of rod and reel combos that you can go with. My recommendation is to go ahead and spend a little bit of money to get something that's going to last because you're dealing with sand and salt water. And a lot of stuff is just not going to hold up real well. I'm a big fan of pin and this is the pin fierce three combo. This is a nine foot rod, which is some, going to give you enough length to get those long casts out on the beach, but it's still not too cumbersome to deal with, especially if you're new to surf fishing. And it's got a 6,000 size reel, and this will hold plenty of line. And this particular one already comes with line on it, so it saves you a little bit of money there. This is monofilament. But I would make a recommendation, if you are comfortable, to go ahead and spend a little extra money and get that braid. We'll look at that a little bit later as well. But this is a great combo to get you started fishing on the beach. The next item that you're going to want to get is a pompano rig. There's a lot of different options and there's a lot of different color selections. My recommendation would be to get a few different ones. You can go from pink to orange to yellow, it doesn't really matter so much, but you want to have a few different color selections just in case those fish that you're targeting that day are a little bit picky and they may want a particular color, especially pompano. They're primarily sight feeders and they're going to be keyed in on particular colors. So make sure you pick up a few while you're here. You don't even have to time yourself. All you got to do is attach that to your main line and you're ready to go. One of the things that I really like about j and is they have a great selection of pyramid sinkers. You would think that would be an easy thing to come by, but sometimes it's hard to find a large selection, but they've got one up to five, up to six, even seven ounce pyramid sinkers that you can come in and check out. I typically will use a three ounce pyramid sinker and with the combo that I recommended, that'd be a perfect weight to throw. That way you can get the maximum distance out of that rod. And you're gonna need a large selection of those pyramid sinkers so that you can manage different surf conditions. If it's really rough, you may have to go up to a four or a five, but if you're dealing with really flat calm surf, you can back that down to one or two ounce depending on those conditions. So make sure you pick up a few different options of those pyramid sinkers. One of the important pieces that you're going to want to pick up while you're here at J&M so you can kick back and relax while you're beach fishing is a sand spike. They've got a few different options. I would lean towards the aluminum because it's going to hold up a lot better, but of course it is a little bit more expensive. But you can get by with the PVC just so you can save a little bit of money there. But you can stick this in the sand and you can kick back and you can relax and wait for that fish to come by and bite. We've covered pretty much everything you're going to need as far as tackle goes. And the last item that's very important is you're going to need some bait. The cool thing about surf fishing is you can actually get out there without any live or dead bait. You can go completely with fish bites. And fish bites is a synthetic scent release bait that you can use in the surf and it catches a variety of species. Everything from pompano, whiting, black drum, redfish, honestly you name it, if it's swimming around in the surf, this bait's going to catch it. You're definitely going to want to pick up a few packs of fish bites to hit the beach and honestly after that you're ready to go. Everything that we've covered today you can absolutely hit the beach and start catching fish. So for less than $200, you can get started and fish for the entire vacation while you're here 
in the Gulf Shores Orange Beach area. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this video helps you get started on your beach fishing adventure while you're here on vacation. From Gulf Shores and Orange Beach Tourism and myself, tight lines and stay bummy.